Okay folks, today we're going to just do a quick video uh, on how to how to measure inductance uh, of a coil if we don't happen to have a suitable LCR meter. Now, uh, the procedure for doing this is pretty uh, simple. What we do is uh, we take our coil here. Uh, in this case, this is a transformer, um, the HF transformer. And I've actually um, just trying to uh, get the inductance of its uh, primary in this case. So, what we have done here is that we have hooked up a known um, film capacitor here. Uh, this is a 2.2 uh, 250 volt cap, but any uh, small value film cap uh, will will pretty much do. But it's got to have a known value, and the more the more accurate that the value is the more accurate that your uh, inductance figure is going to be. So we have this cap um, hooked up here in parallel. It's just hooked up across the uh, inductor here. And you'll see that we have um, you'll see that we have a oscilloscope uh, hooked up across the inductor here as well. That's going back to this uh, scope here. And we have a signal generator injecting a signal uh, via this 1K uh, resistor here. And we're basically injecting a square wave signal um, into what is essentially a tank circuit. Now what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the frequency at which the uh, I'm trying to get this straight in my head because it's been a while since I've done this um, we're trying to find the frequency at which the circuit resonates and that'll be uh, a particular frequency that we can then plug that frequency into a simple formula which I'll have scribbled down here and get a view of this. Um, There's a simple formula here that lets us calculate inductance L if we have capacitance C, frequency F and uh, 2 pi which is which is a constant and from that uh, we get we get in we get our uh, inductance in Henry's and uh, in this case I've done the, the calc here and it came out as 1.2 milli Henry's so I'm just going to go through the procedure again for doing this so as I say, we have our signal generator injecting a square wave, and uh, what we're trying to do here is I'm going to try and get a focus on our oscilloscope here. What I'm, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be twisting the frequency sweep here, and we're going to be uh, observing what happens. So I'm going to start to sweep. As we can see, amplitude is low at the minute uh, because the majority of the voltage is dropping across the resistor here. So we're trying to pick up the um, amplitude uh, peak. So I'll sweep and we'll see it's starting to... There's one possibility. That is us actually. You can see that 3.04 kilohertz there. And I can actually hear 
on that peaks I can actually hear a little squeal at 3 kilohertz coming from the coil so where are we now 3.08 kilohertz that's what I had found before if I continue to sweep you see it drop off again there's another um, point there it's 3.08 kilohertz and we sweep on we start to get all kinds of strange effects here again pretty much at 3.12 we're getting 4.8 volts I'm trying to get the highest peak at 5.24 volts there peak to peak around 3.08 kilohertz uh, which is what I had found before so this um, frequency here is then the frequency that we plug into the formula and we have as I say a known capacitance here and uh, it's simply a case then of plugging these figures in with a calculator so I'll uh, probably embarrass myself and uh, try to do that here so okay here we go so uh, C is our capacitance in um, now all of these uh, values here they have to be in their uh, core value so it's capacitance in farads so we're going 2.2 exp minus 6 open brackets uh, 2 pi uh, F, so 2 pi F, 2 pi multiplied by F is our frequency here, 3.08 kilohertz, so 3 decimal 0 8, uh, that's kilohertz, so EXP to the 3, I want to close our brackets, those brackets and I want to square the brackets so x squared and I think we hit equals we get a kind of a crazy figure then we have to go 1 over x which is this guy second function and 1 over x answer over 1 equals so our inductance comes out at 0 0.0012 so forth um, henrys and to get it in milli henrys just multiply by 1000 equals 1.213 milli henrys which uh, sounds about right uh, for a coil of that size, um, if I if I had gotten a kind of a crazy figure like 200 Henrys, uh, I'd know that I was off um, off by quite a bit. So that's it. Just a simple demo here uh, of how to calculate an on on inductance if you don't happen to have a suitable um, LCR meter or something similar to that. Now, pretty much any any oscilloscope will do for this. Uh, it's just kind of handy to have this one because it gives a frequency and a peak to peak there. It can be set up uh, so it, it makes um, finding the resonance point that much easier. Okay folks that's it for now.